Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can automatically back up your WordPress website to Google Drive. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Backing up your website is very important, as you can never be sure when the site might be hacked or if something might go wrong. In this video, we will auto back up our website. Let's learn WordPress.com. This backup will be automatically scheduled. Anyways, to backup, let's log in to the site's dashboard slash WP admin. Enter the credentials. We are now in the WordPress dashboard. We will use a free plugin to back up our site. Go to plugins and add new and search for updraft. This is the plugin. Install it and activate the plugin. So the plugin has been activated. I will close this. Now go to settings. I will clear this cache. And let me close these two. By the way, also do check with your server if you have any issues while backing up. I will ignore this warning. Anyway, now to backup, go to settings. Here you can choose when to backup. You can choose weekly, monthly, or hourly, depending on how frequently you update your website. But also please note, if you choose hours, your server resources might be hit. So please do it as accordingly and as per your requirements. Anyway, I want to have two backups. And for the database, I want to do the same. Here are a couple of options to back up your website. We will choose Google Drive here. You can choose Dropbox, OneDrive, or any other options for you. Let me choose Google Drive. So it will create an updraft plus folder name. We will sign up with Google later. Make sure everything is clicked so everything is backed up. You can tick this if you want an email to be sent. I will leave it. On Expert Settings, go to Show Expert Settings. So in Split Archives, depending on your server capacity, you can choose the appropriate size. If the server limit is low, you can choose 25. For our server, I'll choose 200. Make sure you delete the local backup. If this is unchecked, backup files will remain on the server and it will take up space. Leave this to default. I will leave this to default. Check these automatic updates so the plugin will auto update. So it is all done and save changes. As we are using Google Drive, click on sign in with Google. Choose the Gmail you want to use. Give access to the updraft. This is mandatory for this tour. Click on Allow. And now click on Complete Setup. So it is done. Now again go to Settings. So this Google Drive is selected. After all this, again go to Backup. And click on Backup Now. You do not have to do this every time. It's just that I want to take the backup. Click on Backup Now. Make sure all this is checked. Backup Now. So this will backup the whole website. This can take some time depending on your website files and folders. Also, if you see any issue because of the server, please read the split archives. Again, a reminder. You do not have to manually click on backup if you have chosen to automatically backup every week. So the backup has been completed. If you scroll, you can see the backup here. You can see all the files have been backed up. If you want to restore this site, all you have to do is click on restore. To double check the backup, go to drive.google.com. Here is the Updraft Plus folder. 
and it has all the backup of our website files. So this is how you can auto backup your site. So this backup will be automatically done every week and you will have two backups. You will see the backup date here as well. We really hope this video was useful to you. Thank you very much.